Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of 64 Bits Extra where we're going to look at the generative fill option that just came out, a generative fill tools that just came out from Photoshop. Uh, if you install the beta right now from your Adobe Creative Cloud, you too can use it and it is very easy to use. I've been playing around with it and I'm going to see if it's any good to use in a workflow. I have no idea and I'm going to check if I can apply it to some of the projects that were already made. So I'm going to try and make some variations with images from Paper Zelda, Shovel Knight Dimensions, and some other stuff that we made in the past. And just to see if like we can we can mess around with it, maybe remove a character from the from a background, maybe add something completely new, maybe expand the background, and I'm going to show you all what it's about. Just for the record, Generative Fill does use an AI which is based on Adobe Firefly, and it uses images that are illegal. It doesn't pull from different artists. If you type in Super Mario, it won't generate a picture of Super Mario. Everything is done legally and ethically uh, so it doesn't really pull like from different artists and stuff like that nobody's getting screwed over we're not stealing anything from anyone this stuff is going to be the future anyway so it's interesting and i want to explore it so let's start with this image from paper zelda well first of all i there's one of the tools that i can do is like i can just like select something around here and i get generative fill right here so i'm just gonna click that and see if it can remove the chicken I wait a little bit and voila it's gone uh, it looks pretty good it also removed the bush but well, that's fine but this could be a really useful way to do this i'm gonna grab some like a different different image something that's bigger so for example this image right here with the loft wing if i make this larger let's add like a couple of thousand pixels something like that if i select the surroundings and then I say generative fill. I'm not going to give it any context. I'm just going to press enter. Let's see what it makes. I have no idea yet myself. So, all right. Uh, well, it's not perfect at all, uh, but that's fine. Let's uh, see if it made uh, something different. Uh, well, maybe a little bit. So, well, I, I don't know. You, you could see this could be slightly useful. If this was the original image and you want to expand the image a little bit more, you could, I guess. You good? So I, I'm 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 good with this. Uh, that's really interesting. So this is a really interesting scene. Let me uh, let me see if I make this canvas larger. Let's see if it actually generates the rupees and stuff like that. I'm really really excited to see what happens there. Let's make it a little bit larger. Let's say seven thousand by five thousand again, something like that. There we go. Let's uh, select the surrounding stuff. All right. Let's say generate the fill. I'm not gonna give it any prompts. I'm just gonna click generate. Let it fill in. Let's see what it happens. Really interesting. Uh, it uh, it's trying to actually expand this rupee. This one too. It is working. So that's really interesting. I'm just uh, like interested what it, what it does with things that don't really exist. So I, I I wouldn't be able like to tell like a prompt like Adobe Firefly like hey create a rupee because it doesn't know what it is or at least a rupee from the Legend of Zelda I'm just like trying to see like what it does and it's actually expanding it pretty well uh, let's see if it has alternative versions well this this one is messy look at that look at that rupee and this I don't know what it did here it, it's creating like a lamp that's interesting this one is interesting as well it, it's it's creating it's trying to put down another rupee here this was something silver I don't know what that is expanding that one it's actually making a big black bar here the first one is actually pretty good yeah, I liked it. So this one is going to be interesting. Uh, this is from our Overwatch short. And obviously this was already like made with a little bit of a reference. Well, that's fine. Uh, back in the day, I, I, I did like use the, the composition. Uh, that we made this short like a long time ago, like like a couple of years ago. So let's let's make this a little larger. Select it. And we're going to do generative fill again. I'm not going to type anything extra. Really interested what it does in this one. Let's go. All right, very interesting. It's trying to generate something here, it's, but it's like being watched through like some like columns. And that's really interesting that it does that. Not very useful, but uh, you know, it's just interesting what it comes up with. Same here, and I think this is gonna be the same. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's actually trying to look through those things. Now let's see if I can just like select Farah. I'm gonna turn that off. Select Farah right here. Let's see what it does if I try to remove her. Just turns to fill. No prompts, it's true thing. I wonder what it will do with the windows. Will it understand? It does not understand. It actually replaced the windows completely. But it is, it is trying to like put back like windows back in. I, I see like how this would be very useful, like like I don't know, photoshopping, deleting like a character from a photo. Uh, that'd be really interesting. Like I'm gonna try it with him as well. We'll see if he's actually creating those glowy circles back in. Well, that did a pretty good job. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. A little wonky here. <laughs> it's trying to like invent shapes, but the first one that's actually yeah, pretty good. I uh, like that. Now, this one is going to be interesting. So let's expand that one and then generate the fill. I'm just going to say generate the fill again, and then I'm going to give it some prompts. Let's see what it makes from this. 
very interesting. So it is it is trying to copy the style pretty nicely. That's good. Let's uh, see the other one. Well, that's that's fairly good as well. And then that one. Yeah, that's interesting. So without, you know, it's 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 trying to create some stuff. Uh, obviously, it's all not good, but you know, it's working out. Uh, well, I can't like name like a monster from the Dark Souls series because it doesn't know that. Uh, but obviously, we can just like you know, right here at that point, let's say a uh, little um, maybe a knight. Let's see if it does a knight in the same style. So the downside of AI is you, you never know what you're gonna get. And that's totally fine. Well, that's something completely different. It does not help at all. That's not even a issue, like a little bit of night. You see like how it's how it's like also <laughs> very not useful at all sometimes. Uh, that di didn't work out at all. I hate it. Let's do uh, like a right there. I want to like, an, I want to just like a one another bonfire. You should be able to type in bonfire. Let's see what it does. No idea. All right, it actually does make a bonfire in the same style, so that's really interesting. Well, that's also sort of in the same style. I, that's a little wonky, but you know, it, it is trying to keep the black line, so that's interesting. Let's try a lantern on the tree. I want a big old lantern on there. Lantern. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. That's a little different, but you know, it's it's, it's interesting. That, that's a little bit too photorealistic. But the first one, you know, that that, that could sort of work. It's, it's too big, obviously, but uh, you know, just uh, trying to uh, mess around. So in the original, like had some jars here, and I believe like there were some jars here as well. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, do a big, big ceramic face. Let's see what it does. That is wrong. That would make a little bit sense, but um, th that this one is the closest, I guess. Uh, let's do just a big pot with. I'm just gonna specify black lines. Well. Not what I want. Not even close. Okay, well, maybe I didn't specify correctly. So, you know, it's a little bit of hit or miss. I got a Jorm your, the Giant. Jorm? Jorm? I want to say Jorm. I want to see if, like, Photoshop is able to actually finish his foot. Uh, just see if it uh, understands her style, because obviously it's understanding photos and simple things. But this is, like, style, so I'm, I'm really curious if it wants to expand that. I can also just, like, select this part and say, okay, do a journey to fill on that one. So let's do that. It's gonna be a foot, right? Maybe I maybe I don't have to specify, but I'm gonna try. All right, so <laughs> it's actually putting in another foot. Yep. Well, that's not what I wanted. And, and again, another foot in the style of Journey Giant. He, he has like some fancy legs here. That, that that's that's kind of awesome. That I like that. Oh, that. Oh my God. That is not what I expected. Uh, but it is what I asked for. So uh, let's not do that one. Let's uh, just uh, let's just do generate and see if it creates like the complete foot without me saying foot because obviously it made a second foot. That's weird. This one is uh, actually <laughs> quite hilarious. I. I I love the results. It's wrong, but it's it's funny. All right, so no, it's actually trying to make something really weird out of this. It does not understand that I was drawing a foot right there. It's trying to make a face, I think, like a little face, like a eyes and, and a mouth. So nope, obviously it doesn't do that correctly. Let me try it on the whole image just for fun. Unless you generate a fill, I'm not gonna tell it anything. Just see what you see and make it bigger. Really wondering what the, the top of the head is gonna be. Now that became a very interesting mess. Oh, look at look at what it's trying to do. That is that is really interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I think it's making chandeliers right there. It's trying to make a flower here for some reason. I, I guess it's a flower. Again, it's some sort of like a Picasso face. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That is, ooh, what's that scary thing in the in the corner? Like a beluga whale? I'm not sure. That is really interesting. Well, it tried to make like a, the skeleton into like some sort of a blob. That's not good. But let's see what uh, what else it made because I obviously I have a couple of options. That is actually more like true to the rest of the, the background. It's ignoring some of the black lines, but you know I, I guess that this could be this could be something that that's interesting. Obviously, it's again it's still not getting the shapes, but this is fairly you know I mean it's something something that's out of focus. That it could generate that I guess. That's wow. That's trippy. It, I don't hate what it did on the fireplace. It actually did try to do something with a fireplace, but obviously the rest is like weird. It randomly added something blue here. That's really interesting. Some some of these like swimming goggles. <laughs> I'm not sure what it did there, but that is really interesting though. So for our street make, we made a poster. So I wonder if I make this a little larger, if I can actually um, generate the, the the little little butts on the on these guys. I'm just gonna try and do it. Let's see if it does. That's actually very interesting. The colors are all. <laughs> Pretty much right, I guess. Uh, his little butt is interesting. 
Uh, let's uh, increase this one a little bit. No, no, that's rubbish. That is, well, that's actually very close. It's actually finishing the barrel, finishing the AC unit. It's giving some text here, Toto Artrit. So I didn't make that text, <laughs> that's the AI. So what I'm gonna try and do now is let's, uh, there's an AC unit right there. Let's let's create one right next to it. Let's see if, it, uh, if that works. I'm around there, I wanna have like another AC unit. I wonder if it does that. Maybe it's uh, keeping the same style on that one. Maybe it understands if it's looking at the whole image. And it sort of does. Kind of, like it's trying to like mimic the pipes. Uh, is, nope, that's wrong. That's sort of all right, I guess. I, I mean, if you make that a little more, more blue, I guess. So obviously I wouldn't mind maybe like go in and, and add some extra stuff, a little U shift, a little bit more coloration, right? Something like that. I, I don't know. It's just a little, <laughs> a little thing that I'm trying. Does it look good? I don't I don't think so, but it's, it, 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 <laughs> it's really interesting. That's what we're looking for. I got some more Shovel Knight thing. So this is gonna be pixel art. And I wonder if it does anything good with pixel art. That's why I got this image right here. So let's make that one a little bigger. I'm just gonna let it generate. And if that doesn't work, I can always like tell it it's pixel art. Let's see if that does anything. I don't think it does anything good because it's Adobe Firefly and it's reaching out from all like these stock images from that are legally created. Uh, okay, the color again, the color is right, I guess. The colors are right. So like if you want to expand the colors, that is working out. It's trying to mimic the jagginess of the pixels. You can see that right here. That's interesting. It's, it's stopped doing that there. Uh, but that that is that is truly interesting. So let's try that with um, uh, pixel art. I'm just going to type in pixel art, see what it does. It doesn't recognize it as a prompt. I'm going to say pixel. Well, I just ignored most of it. This is, well, this is rubbish. Pixel art. Well, again, it's trying, uh, it's doing a little bit more of like a trying to do pixel art. It's, it's obviously not doing it correctly, but you know, it's a little bit closer to the, to the edges of pixel art. It's interesting. And this one, uh, it, 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 it's, it's making a mess again. So that's, uh, that's something. All right, this one I'm interested in because like there's a whole character in the foreground. And I wonder if I can remove this and it still understands that there's a character in the background that is drawn. Let's remove this. It's doing a decent job, actually. <laughs> it's a little weird in this one. I don't hate the first one. Uh, let's see without and then with it, it, like, it, it would like take some extra work. If you zoom in, I did notice that if you zoom in, uh, it does get a little pixelated. So if I if I'm at 100%, uh, let's go to 200%. You can see like this is fairly tight. And then what it's trying to generate is at a, at a much lower resolution. So do keep that in mind. If you ever want to use it for something useful, I don't know. It does a weird job on some parts, but you know. All right. So this one is very interesting. I think the thing is, this is actually my style. I drew this Pokemon a while back. It's been a long time. I was still working on the name Hold to Run. So what I, for example, I want to do is I want to grab his head and I can want to see if I can create something different from it. So let's do a red and orange bird head. Does it understand my style? I think it sort of does. That's really interesting. This is also very interesting. Yeah, I guess I can give it like a Pokemon name. So I can type like Pikachu just for fun. Pikachu head. I'm just going to do that and you'll see that it won't work. There we go. Because it simply does not know what a Pikachu is. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But that is very interesting. I like this one. This is, this one is funny. Let's do it on uh, his head as well. I want to see what it does when I say like a, a Corgi. Will it make a Corgi in my style, in my drawing style? Will it will it make an actual dog head just and put it on top of that? Maybe it will create a whole a whole Corgi. Wow, that is that is something that I did not expect. That is messed up. That is some Eldritch Horror stuff. That is, um, I, ooh, I, phew, I, ooh, I don't like that one. Corgi head? Oh, I'm gonna try that one, I don't know. Nope, that is uh, completely weird. I uh, <laughs> don't know what to do with that. That is awful. So as you can see, it has a hard time with uh, characters, especially if you're like drawing your own style. So I got this uh, Conqueror one. Obviously it's a little rude. It's a little rude. So uh, let's fix that. Let's try and fix that. Let's do a white glove, thumbs up. Again, this is uh, an old drawing of mine that I made because I, I like to draw derpy stuff on uh, like uh, when I'm when I'm bored. Uh, this one is uh, I came out kind of cute. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, it's a little rough, but uh, that is that is that truly is interesting. Oh, let's 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 just do middle finger. <laughs> let's see if uh, Photoshop lets me lets me give it the finger. Nope, it says the generated images were removed because it violated the user guidelines. Uh, so no no I can't make it rude. I can make it unrude, but I can't make it rude. 
it, I'm afraid. So I got one more. This is one of the backgrounds for one of the Zelda shorts that we did uh, recently. Uh, they are on our YouTube channel. Uh, they haven't been watched very well because they're shorts and you know, that's a kind of like a hit or miss. So the, the person who made this background, let's say without bothering him, I want to expand this background a little bit. All right, well, I did something really interesting there. I don't think this is good. Let's see what else it does. Nope, nope, that's wrong. No, well, it has some problems uh, with this part, but you know, this part is uh, pretty good. It actually expanded the, the stones pretty well. Uh, I think the clock tower is even pretty good. Again, watch out because it, it does get low resolution, but if, you, if it's something like in that background or something, that's really interesting. Again, this could be better. I could probably just select this part and say, you know what, try again. That is something completely different, but that will do too. That's really interesting as well. It does like stay in the style of the rest of the thing. Obviously this was not uh, in the original Majora's Mask, but uh, it is super interesting that it does that. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna put a barrel right there i'm gonna type in barrel there we go it's not completely in the style that i want like i said it's hit or miss at some point uh well obviously we gotta draw it ourselves and that's uh, that's totally fine because we're all artists and it's all good so one more thing that i want to show you this is my dog and i tried it out and i i made this like in i don't know like less than a minute i changed their mouth expanding the background removing the bow tie then adding in a different bow tie and it's, it's wonderful because like on photos, it works so well. It's really like trying to merge with the fur and it, it just looks really good. And then I gave her some antlers. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, well, this could be a next Christmas card, a little sparkler and a out of focus uh, Christmas tree. And like, I don't know, I did this in a couple of seconds and it's all done ethically. It's all generated with images that Adobe owns and you can use this commercially. I just want to end with my final thoughts on the Adobe Firefly generative fill thing so i gotta be honest ai is a really scary thing for us animators and us illustrators and it's really scary i think if done ethically it's really interesting if you're not stealing of other creators i think that that's it's totally fine to use it as a tool just another tool in your tool set uh, would i generate a ai image and put it in my portfolio no of course not because it's just reference images but would i use it as a tool to change something in a background or create something in the style of something that i already made well maybe maybe i'll i, I see us use it like here and there but definitely just as a tool just as you would use a healing brush just as you would use image references that you find in Google Images. Just something that you look at, just something that helps you, helps you create the things that you wanna do. So I think it's really interesting, as long as you don't claim it as your own. It's really interesting. I, um, I'm, I'm really wondering uh, what, it, what it will do in the future. I just wanted to show it, like what it would do in our work and how it would expand the images that we created. I think I'm, I'm just gonna like, you know, call it here. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any concerns, also let us know. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.